Okay, so this is 10.5 example two. We have find the area of one petal, r equals cosine of four theta. So again, if I take um, four theta equal to pi over four, and I divide by four on both sides, I'm gonna get theta equals pi over 16. So that's going to be my increments here, pi over 16. Um, theta equals two pi over 16, which is pi over eight. 3 pi over 16, which doesn't reduce. 4 pi over 16, which is pi over 4. 5 pi over 16, which doesn't reduce. And I'll stop there unless I need to keep going, okay? So we'll see what the radius is going to be. So cosine of, if I multiply this by 4, I'm going to get pi over 4. And then if I multiply this pi over 8 by 4, I'm going to get pi over 2. Similarly, 3 pi over 4. Here I'll get pi. And here I'll get 5 pi over 4. So then the cosine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2 and cosine of pi halves is zero. Cosine of three pi over two is square root of two over two. Hmm, so I may have already gotten my entire area, but let's just be sure. Oh, I have to start with zero, actually, I forgot that. So this is actually 1. So I haven't finished. I haven't gotten all the way around yet. Um, cosine of pi is um, negative 1. And then I got to keep going until I get all the way around. So cosine of 5 pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 over 2 go by one more pi sixteenth, I get six pi over sixteen, which is three pi over eight. If I multiply that by four, I get three pi over four. So I get negative square root of two over two. Theta equal to six seven pi over sixteen. So I get seven pi over four. And I get negative square root of two over two. Oh, I did this wrong. If I multiply this by four, this denominator will be two. And then that x value is actually zero. There we go. And then now eight pi over two will be pi, eight pi over sixteen, which would be pi over two. And if I multiply that by four, I will get two pi. And here I get one again. So from zero to one half is how long it took to complete one whole petal. So that means when I set up my interval, it's going to be 0 to pi over 2 to get the entire area of that um, petal. And so then I'm going to do r squared. So I get 1 half from 0 to pi over 2. Um, cosine squared of 4 theta d theta we'll use the power reducing formula so 1 plus cosine of 8 theta over 2 split that up into 1 half and 1 half cosine of 8 theta here we can just get um, one half theta. Here we have to use u substitution. So we get one half 
sine of 8 theta divided by 8. If I distribute back my 1 half and kind of combine these two together, I get 1 over 4 theta plus 1 over 4 times 1 over 8 is 1 over 32. So then I get 1 fourth times pi over 2 plus 1 over 32 sine of 4 pi minus 0 minus 1 over 32 sine of 0. Sine of 0 and sine of pi over 4 is 0. So you end up with pi over 8 as your answer. That's the area of one petal. Now, on example three, it says find the points of intersections of the graphs of equations and write your points in polar form. So remember, theta equal to pi over four is an entire polar axis. So here's pi over four. It's this entire polar axis. Now remember that r equal to 4 is a whole circle, okay? So if you go out 1, 2, 3, 4 units, you create that eccentric circle. So you have this circle here that goes like this. And so where do those two intersect? They intersect here and here. And so this point in polar form would go out four units for r and then pi over four. This other point, um, remember you can't make your um, theta negative. So the second point can be written in two ways. You can either write this represents this point and there's no other way to represent that point. Um, well, there is, you could do negative four which means you go this way, but then you would have to do 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4 to get this same point, okay? Now to get this point, you would have to go um, positive 4 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pi over 4 or you could go negative 4 and then just go one pi over four. So it's these two points. Now how you enter them into um, WebAssign depends on if they've given you any clues. If they don't give you any clues, then you can type in this or this for the first point and this or this for the second point. However, if they give you a clue like they want pi over four on both, prop, both of the intersections, then you're gonna need to be picking four and negative four. Or the other way around, if they have both positive fours, then you need to be picking these two points. If they have both of the radiuses as negative fours, then you need to be picking these two points, okay? But you do need to use this point and this point. It just depends on which form um, they ask you for. If they don't, then just include one and one only, okay? So one of these two and one of these two, and that's it. The next... Um, Problems we'll do on a separate video.